Welcome back to the Banana Empire in the Road to 56. So we're currently building up a navy. I was going to go for this um, corporate expansion into, um, into Southern America. The problem is that Colombia has joined the Allies. It's going to be a bit of a problem. However, beginning to think that I, what I could do is wait for the Navy to finish, then go into this, and then just not bother going to war with Colombia. It would be a lot it would be a lot quicker. And I'd actually gain cores on the on the on the Republic of Ecuador. Which would which would make things a lot easier. That's a while away anyway, so build a new airport. So Ecuador might be a bit of a problem to get into because we can only just about reach this this area here. Which means they're gonna have to hold for a long time. However, it's all academic. I need to get I need to get a navy anyway and start getting marine designing some some ships. Maybe destroyers, maybe heavy cruisers later. For now, I need to just get. Oh, good. I can now subsidize some rubber plantations in El Salvador. Oh. The only thing I can actually send these, use these on. Really. So, just those on. this now because it's going to be very quick. The United Fruit Company has had significant operations in Colombia since 1900. Our operations have hit a couple of roadblocks. Our employees in the Republic of Colombia still remember the 1920 Anna Massacre, which resulted in the deaths of up to 3,000 workers. We should prevent another banana massacre by assuming direct control over our Colombian Ecuadorian operations. So, as we'll get that started. I'll have these guys is fully trained up, I hope. Well, the Soviets are willing to buy some old hurricane fighters, I can sell to them. Yeah, it's all just business. Okay, after I've got this corporate expansion, I'm gonna go into this Central American Unification Tree. It allows us to assimilate Panama, and we could get this the decisions to it. To assimilate the Chiapas, that's that would involve us going to war with with, with the Mexico, which means going to war with the Allies, and really our biggest end and customer right now. But no matter. Now, since I've just also just created this collaboration gov, if I should start seeing ideology. Just to spice things up a bit. Let's see anything else? Maybe I can maybe I can trigger a coup here and um and intervene on their behalf. Let's see how that goes. Alright, it's go time. And of course we can't. Ah. Like I might just need to do it other way then. This is not going as well as I had thought. Any way I can actually get there?
wish there was a way I could just force this, force these to actually happen. Because this is really starting to annoy me. Yeah, I did not think this through very well, did I? Might as well diversify our elite forces so we can get Marie to actually do, do something with Marines. Need to get them. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain. Ah, I had to try and do it this way. And oh, we just lost two paratrooper units for not much gain. Let's see, can I? Nope. has to be our immediate priority. We need more air superiority, which we have. Okay, but they are, they did, um, of course, we can't really get there, so. What the hell? Let's just try a naval invasion down south just to. Or we can't do that because of air superior. Say whatever. I don't actually do paratroopers. So naval invasions are just so finicky to get set up. Like it shouldn't matter that we don't have air superiority right now. We should just be able to force attack. I mean, come on, guys. What does it take to actually do this? Come on. 
would actually explain why we can't do it. Is it just that we don't have air superiority? Yeah, well, that was surprising. Time I probably got some better fighters and bombers and stuff. Like, can I not assign to this naval invasion? This game can be so annoying at times. Well, that was a waste of our troopers. I think of something else to do. So I might end up go with Marines after all, which means I need a damn fleet. This is getting Well, we no longer have to do, have to deal with payments for the Panama Canal, so that's one good thing. It's way start building up some destroyers. They're not going to be great, but I'm hoping we will at least have enough to enough to take it. Have to at least meet them. So they have thirteen early destroyers. I think we might be able to meet them. So yeah, biggest problem is just going to be getting a first hold. Once we do that, I think I think I can probably try staging a coop in. In Colombia, do it on the coast here in La Libertad. Hmm, deadly. Yeah, this is gonna be risky. I just try leaving it until we have until we have Ecuador control because it's gonna take a while. We're gonna need to do it. So they have about ten ships in the area. We need to get twenty. Hmm. But still infiltrating their navy ship. Okay, now as I have Marines, I can either go a Jungle Specialist, well, once I get some extra Navy XP, or Shore Parties. I'm beginning to think Shore Parties might be better because we will buff these guys even more on, on Naval Invasions, and that's exactly what I need. Push Raise Recon. Which is sixty. Really enough special defense capacity. For this. Stash. I can probably increase that by just getting more of these and more entry units. Okay. 
basically this up but that's I might get this for the extra factory out well now Grant has managed to take Baku from the Soviets thing which way this war is going exactly Iraq is also the UK declared war on them so that's right so now we actually have paratroopers again and transports that can reach Quito I think it's time we did a full full strike there rather than Rather than the coast and fighting in. It's kind of what I was planning to do first time around, but it just didn't work out. Like what I was saying, I'm going to wait until I have these Marines as well and a separate army. I might attach a couple of things off the south to lend them some extra support. So, do I go with Marine Commandos? And then Mechanized Marine Corps. Three units. Low torch and corkscrew and expedition forces. Well, marine camp commanders having the ability to ex expedite from coast provinces sounds nice. I think expeditionary units makes more sense to us, to us as is. And go for jungle special forces because it buffs our marines and paratroopers to fight better in the jungle. Lot of. Iran took Stalingrad. The war is taking an unexpected turn indeed. This is kind of holding on. Okay. Let's see what. A bit in favor of the aggressors. Mid to uh, early mid 1943s, so that could be quite building up all these forts because I've almost nothing else to use my construct my civilian factory. Yeah, this is normally at this point in the game, I would have joined a faction that's been building up their infrastructure supply, but for your thing. Well, Iraq just joined the Axis, but now they've just signed a White piece with the UK. Basically, a return to borders before the war. Of course, oh, they're now in the Allies. As a pup. Weird. I still think it was a good idea to stay out of that war. So we have 18 destroyers now, and I'm basically preparing as many of them or upgrading them of all before I send them out. Our new airborne divisions are nearly up. These guys are nearly up as well. I'm going to start researching tanks to give flame tanks to the Marines. They're going to need them. Certainly later, anyway. So after jungle special forces, I'm just going to go down this path towards the armor efforts to try and get the up. So this would have been handy earlier, maybe. Just giving a reduction, reduction to infantry equipment. See, no reason I can't start with these old, old uh, interwar tanks. Second now. So I think the buffs these guys a bit. Yep, they do extra attack. 
10 extra movement. Of course, that might also be because I've given them recon as well. These guys. Movement, again, recon does help with that. Oh, Norway has fallen again. They obviously threw over through the Germans and then got overthrown again. Looks like um France and the UK are starting to push. Tripoli's or Italy seems to hold Libya, Greece, go to Greece, Cyprus. But the Brits have landed on Sicily. Oh, and the Brits are starting to push into uh, Iran. This is not good. Find them anyway. Right, we need 50% naval supremacy in the Western Canal Zone. I'm just put this on naval station support. We don't have a lot of shore bombardment there. But I think we can do. I mean, what kind of. Oh, Germany has just turned the stage. We have a reason for this. Nations down here, thus the historians are threatened. These are all right. I think it's time we went. And don't have enough transports for that, so oh, and we just took Quito. Well, that was quick. Do I want those fleets? No. That was disturbingly quick. Too quick. Well. Didn't even get have a chance to use my marines. Oh, well. Oh, now we actually have a reason to start rooting out resistance. So yeah, the first invasion was an absolute farce. The rest of it was not. So, just successfully deploying. Let's see now. I think equipment capture ratio might be good for Paris because they're going to be trapped all And recovery rate. To cite an airborne unit, I think IS the 12th division has been recognized amongst peers and reported accordingly. There. We actually have a reason to use garrisons now. I think it's time I buff these guys up a little bit because. We do not need need resistance to our, to corporate rule.
do this. So inefficient. All right, so the assault did not go well. It took us far longer than I would have liked. So next time we are going to plan it out and do it properly. But that's going to be it for this episode. I will see you in the next one. Take care now.